Hello, welcome back to another exciting knife review by George. Today we're going to talk about a very controversial uh, knife released by Benchmade this year. It's called Benchmade by All Out. As usual, uh, with my, all my reviews, you can find the content of this video in the description section of the, of the, the video. So we're gonna jump into the uh, review. So overall, I think it's got an excellent build quality as well as very good ergonomics. And it's incredibly light and compact for its size. Um, 3.5 inches long, uh, roughly. And this thing is about two ounces in weight. Like, I mean, I think Benchmade is having some kind of uh, competition with Spyderco recently. But like, I mean, look, looking at like other knives of this size, similarly, like, you know, this is the Immersion, which weighs over five ounces. This thing has a very good sharpness. which is a huge improvement in, in Benchmade over the years. And uh, it's a very, very aggressive pointy tangle tip. Like you can pierce through like things very, very easy. And it's got a very slight belly on the, on the blade. So that's just to help, helps with sharpening, you know, like on a, a flat whetstone. So every part of the blade can touch the surface of the whetstone. So that's also great. And, um, Below points are pretty much self-explanatory and I'm not gonna waste too much time on that. You can read that at the end of the video as well as the description section. So in terms of the handle design, it's got a very, very, very minimalistic handle, which as you see from here, uh, the steel liner only runs through about uh, two fifths of the length of the handle. So it's reduced as much as steel liner as possible to reduce the weight. It's got full flow through design with only single, uh, one single pillar here. So cleaning this knife without having to disassemble it, it's very, very possible. And it's just so super compact and comfortable to carry uh, because it's very, very thin handle as well. So if you compare that with say, uh, your Spyderco Ujimbo, which is probably 50% wider in terms of the handle, and if you're looking at uh, something like ben, uh, the, the Immersion, which is probably about 100% wider. And the pocket clip on this thing is ridiculously small. Uh, so it reduces weight as well as reduces the visibility when you carry this thing. So this is a push to the very, very limit when it comes to lightweight knives. So below points, again, self-explanatory. Next two points. So this knife is designed for lightweight kind of focus. So you're not gonna get too much strength out of it in terms of like prying with it or something because you know, like the supporting material, like the steel liner only runs through about that, that point. So it's really designed for a knife knife, not like a, a chisel or a, a, a batoning knife, that kind of stuff. And th the other thing is I feel like if there's like a spider co finger toil here, just as a um, kind of precautionary uh, feature, in case say this, if this lock fails, right? I mean, like it's gonna cut your freaking finger right off. But if there was like a, a, a finger toil here to protect your finger, you know, get a pinch, you won't miss lose your finger. That, that'll be also very nice as well. Uh, for the cost, I feel like 100, 170 US dollars is a little bit steep. Um, it feels like they could probably drop, drop that price by maybe $50. So, um, you know, plastic and molding and like supposedly the steel on this thing is relatively softer as well. So I don't think it should cost too much to process this whole, whole knife. But that's just my opinion. So the blade on this thing is incredibly thin. So if you look at the compare, comparing these two blades, you can tell which one is built for more of a, like, you know, taking more abuse and which one is more of a minimalistic design. And if you look at the Spyderco Ujimbo 2, below points again, self-explanatory. I feel like the handle of this knife is a little bit, bit too thin. So like when you hold it in your hand, it's comfortable, but like, I feel like it can be improved. But for a knife of this weight and size, I can forgive all that stuff, really. So, other things, it's got a very strong and pointy blade. Like, in terms of blade itself, like to use as a knife, you can 
you can probably use this thing as some kind of like a can opener or bottle opener. I mean, it's made of 3V steel and it's hardened to a relatively soft Rockwell hardness. So the blade itself, can, you, can, you can do something funky with it. Like it's a little bit like a monkey tool in my opinion, but obviously, you know, you don't want to apply too much force on the handle itself because you want to use the, the strength of your knife. You don't want to use the weakness of it. And if you hide this knife in your clothes, the weight of it is, is very unlikely to give it away. Don't quote me on this. Uh, if you're an undercover uh, agent or something, I, I feel like this thing is just unlikely to like catch people's attention when they take it, pick up your jacket and they won't notice, oh my God, something heavy is in the jacket. What, what is it, you know? It's gonna be very, very like unnoticeable in terms of weight. So below point self-explanatory, the stop pin on this knife is actually fixed by a screw, which I can see why, because it's lacking the kind of rigidity like your normal stainless steel liner the knives. There has been reports of um, stop pins that are fixed by the screws tend to be a little bit weaker than the ones that are just a solid uh, pin. Okay guys, bonus feature. So look at this side and uh, the pocket clip only has two screws, right? But look at that, they've actually made three, three screw holes there for you. So you can probably um, put one of your favorite Benchmade pocket clips on this thing instead of uh, what's given here. So on the final note of this knife, I feel like there's a lot of hate toward this knife from the knife collector community. And I can see somewhat why, but I, I've actually came up with some reasons and uh, suppose the purpose for this knife and I feel like this knife is getting a little bit misunderstood by people just because it's marketed as the uh, black class knife, uh, 3V steel but I, I feel like uh, the purpose of this knife is more for a something else I've made a whole other video to explain what I think of the purpose of the knife is uh, please stay tuned and I really appreciate you watching so, so far I'll see you next time as I promised guys, here's the review summary. Also, the other video about the Benchmade bailout, purpose and uh, supposed design philosophy is underway. So please stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video, please share it with your other friends. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much.